we are going to be talking about awesome drone cinematography ideas that is certainly going to up the quality of your drone footage. If this is something that you are into, then stick around, let's figure this out. The first shot on the list is parallax shot. How do you achieve this kind of shot? This kind of shot is achieved by zooming into the lens. This is easily achieved by using the Mavic 2 zoom. And what happens is that when you zoom in, the background compresses. Anything that is actually close to the camera moves faster and anything that is further away from the camera seems to be slower or not moving too fast. If you're using the Mavic zoom, consider zooming in or if you're using a kind of drone that necessarily doesn't have the zoom feature you can simply get close to the object and rotate or do any form of shot that you want but you have to be very careful with this because that can lead to a crash if you are not a pro so do this with caution the next shot we are going to be talking about is the tilt down the tilt down shot is basically achieved by flying the drone to your ideal altitude then once you are fixed at that particular altitude, you slowly move the camera from top to down to reveal your landscape. And this can be used to reveal a lot of elements to your audience. The next one is tracking shot. Tracking is basically achieved by flying the drone to follow the person at a constant speed by keeping the person either at the middle of the screen or to the side, but making sure that the person or the particular subject stays consistent throughout the whole video, as you can see on your screen right now. The next one on the list is the bird's eye view or the god's eye view. This is by far the most unique shot that you can achieve with your drone because no matter what, we are not accustomed to seeing things from that particular angle. So showing the bird's eye view or the god's eye view opens up a whole different perspective for your audience. The next shot on the list is the daisy cutter. It simply means flying low. Because you can fly high, doesn't necessarily mean you should fly high. So always endeavor to fly very low because once you're low to the ground, the parallax effect start to take place. You would realize that because the ground is very close to the camera, it moves faster. And because the background is further away from the drone, it moves a little bit slower. And this creates a very good sweeping effect. The next shot on the list is the crane shot. This is basically achieved by moving the drone from top to down and simply tilting the camera to keep whatever that you are focusing at the middle of the screen. So it could be moving from top to down or from down to top. But the main thing is to keep your subject of focus centered within the frame. The slider shot. This is simply achieved by putting something in the foreground and sliding from left to right or just simply moving the drone from left to right or right to left. The rising shot. The rising shot is simply achieved by moving the drone from down to top to reveal items that are farther away or to reveal turns within your landscape or to reveal items within your scene. And again, this is also achieved by having something within your foreground or having something placed right in front of the drone and you slowly move up or to reveal your landscape within your scene. Panoramic curve. The panoramic curve is simply achieved by flying your drone in this kind of curve that you see on your screen right now this gives your footage a very nice feel instead of just flying straight forward you add a little bit of curve to the footage or you add a little bit of curve to the drone's movement and this always makes for a very cinematic look the vertigo shot the vertigo shot is simply achieved by moving the drone in front and moving out or simply pulling the drone back and zooming in. In case you don't have the Mavic 2 zoom, in my case, you can also achieve this in post by recording in 4K or recording in higher resolutions so that you can have a movement just in one direction, either pulling out from the object or just pushing in, then reversing the same action in post, zooming into or zooming out of that particular video. And that would make for a very nice vertigo effect. The vertigo effect creates a very dreamy look and this is overly cinematic. So I would caution you out there that before you use the vertigo effect, make sure it falls in line with your vision or make sure it falls in line with exactly what you want to achieve. The tripod shot. 
A very well composed shot does not even require movement to convey a certain kind of image. So, in some cases, all you need to do is just to fly the drone and just keep it at a particular space and just record there. This mostly makes for a very cinematic effect because people are not too sure or your viewers are not really too sure whether if that is a drone or that is a camera. So just simply keep it static at that particular position and trust me, you are going to wow your audience with that particular effect. The rocket shot. The rocket shot is another variation of the bird's eye view or the god's eye view. But this time around, the camera moves straight into space or the camera begins to move right up into the sky while keeping the camera tilted straight down to the earth in a straight 90 degree view to the ground whilst moving straight up into the sky. The walk under shot. Surprise your audience by letting your subjects walk just under the drone and they just move out of shot completely. Tilt reverse shot. This kind of shot is achieved by moving the camera or tilting it from down to up whilst pulling back or whilst moving the drone backwards. Then at the same time, pulling the gimbal or moving the gimbal up to reveal the scene. Tilt pan. This particular shot is achieved by panning or moving the drone from left to right whilst tilting the camera up or down. The fly through shot. Now guys, this shot is very risky and trust me, if you're not a professional or you are not too comfortable with a drone, don't try this at home or don't try this anywhere at all. The fly through shot is simply achieved by flying through objects or just little spaces or available spaces. This is achieved or done by turning off all the sensors of your drone and you can simply fly through objects and this gives very unique look and makes for very cinematic drone footage. The move forward shot. This is by far one of the most popular shots you find online and other platforms. When you first get your drone, apart from just flying very high into the sky, that is the other one most people do, or just moving the drone towards themselves or away from themselves. When you use this particular shot very well, you can achieve a lot of cinematic footage. To really get very cinematic footage, you have to start combining most of the shots that we have discussed here in order to get really, really awesome cinematic footage. So if you need a part two or if you need a second version to this particular video or if you need a follow-up, kindly let me know in the comment section below and trust me I am going to make a part two version or I'm going to make a second version of this particular video is with me OBL Jr. here on the African Miss channel if you're new to the channel guys kindly click on the subscribe button and if you got a ton of information out of this particular video kindly click on the like button so that the YouTube algorithm can help recommend this video so that a lot of people out there can see this video if you have any further questions leave them in the comment section below or you can also follow me on Instagram or DM me your questions on Instagram at OBL underscore junior and I will gladly respond to every single one of your messages. This episode was kindly supported by Pave Ghana. Until next time, guys, keep practicing filmmaking. Peace out.